look at the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning with a look at your oil furnace and what to look out for if you have one. John Schneider is with the Better Home Heating Council and he joins us now from our newsroom. John, first of all, how many people in Maryland heat their homes with an oil furnace? Well, it's about 407,000 people or about 23% of the market heat their homes with oil uh, in Maryland. And what should they watch out for in terms of carbon monoxide poisoning? How does it uh, decipher from, uh, say, uh, carbon monoxide levels with a uh, gas furnace? Well, there's, there's quite a bit of difference, Liz, in uh, oil and gas when it comes to carbon monoxide. Uh, the problem of carbon monoxide poisoning with an oil furnace is, is much less than that with a gas furnace. Uh, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, for instance, uh, released statistics that show that 82% of all the deaths in the United States each year uh, from carbon monoxide poisoning come from uh, gas furnaces, and a very small amount of that come from uh, oil furnaces. Now, how does it manifest itself with an oil furnace if you have high levels of uh, carbon monoxide? Well, the problem uh, is different than with gas and that with oil, before any uh, uh, significant amount of carbon monoxide comes into the home or backs up through the system, uh, you're going to get smoke, which is a, a warning sign uh, to the homeowner that, uh, that something's wrong. Uh, as you know uh, from, from what you said previously this week, carbon monoxide is an odorless and colorless, colorless gas. And with a gas uh, furnace, you don't get that warning of smoke. You get the carbon monoxide first, so uh, basically it sneaks up on you, and the results, as you know, can be uh, quite tragic. All right, John, one final question. Quickly, if you could answer, what, uh, what should you do if you see smoke? Well, if you see smoke, you should uh, call your uh, oil heat dealer immediately, and they'll tell you what to do. And uh, if you can't get a hold of them, probably the best thing to do would be leave, leave the home and, and uh, call them from somewhere else. Get to safety. Okay, John Schneider, thanks very much for joining us well, today. Well, thank you. And still ahead, a stork delivery for Warren Beatty and a mail delivery for the king. We'll be right back. <laughs> There are two ways of filing your income tax return. 